Hi, and welcome to Art with Mrs. Torres. This week, I'm gonna to be teaching you about warm and cool colors. Now, as an art teacher, I'm supposed to teach you the color wheel. And we could draw this, or we could draw this. I'm still gonna be teaching you warm and cool colors, but in a more fun way. So for today's lesson, you're just gonna need crayons, a Sharpie marker, and a piece of paper. You can even use the paper that comes out of your printer. So gather those items up and join me. We're gonna have fun. Well, let's get ready to do our hot dog and cool cat project. For today's lesson, you're just going to need a piece of paper. Now you can use construction paper, you can use uh, heavyweight paper, you can use even the paper that comes out of your printer. I'm just gonna be using a piece of white construction paper. You're also gonna need a pencil, eraser, a Sharpie marker, and some crayons. That's it. So the first thing we're going to be doing with our piece of paper is folding it in half. So I'm going to be holding it so that it is horizontal, and I'm going to take the left side and carefully bring it over to the right side. Hold it on the ends right here so it doesn't move. I'm going to take my first finger, slide it down the middle, and then slide it up and slide it down. Once I folded it, I'm gonna pop it back so it lays flat on my desk, but I still have that little line right down the middle to help divide my paper. To begin with, we're gonna use a pencil and we're gonna start on the left side drawing our dog and then we'll draw our cat. So on the dog side, this side, the hot dog, we're gonna find the center of this section only and we're gonna make a dot right in the center. So that dot is gonna help us with our placement of everything else. So from that dot, that's going to give us a space to make our oval for the head of our dog. So this is gonna kind of be his muzzle, and an oval laying on its side. And then above that oval, we're gonna make another oval. This is gonna be the top of our dog's head. Now make it fairly large so you have room to make some cute eyes. And then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna give him some big floppy ears. So if you look at the shape of the ears, the ears are gonna kind of look like a hot dog bun, right? Which is funny because we're drawing a dog and now we're drawing a hot dog bun, or it could actually look like a hot dog. For the nose, we're gonna draw a large oval on its side. And then we're gonna draw a nice rounded curve for his shoulders. And we're gonna match it on this side. And then we're gonna add a little bit of a line coming right from underneath his nose. So go halfway down and then we're gonna round it till it connects to the bottom of the muzzle here. And then we're gonna round it till it connects to the bottom of the muzzle on this side. Now, right here in this little space, we're going to erase. You can use the end of your pencil or you can use your magic rub. And this is where we're gonna add a tongue. So I'm just going to draw the letter U coming out and I'm gonna draw a short line coming down for the tongues, the little split in the tongue. And once I do that, I can go ahead and redraw this line back again. That's gonna be his lower lip. And then we're gonna come up here, we're gonna give him some cute eyes. So I still have my dot here from the center and I'm gonna use that little dot to help me place my eyes so they're even. So from this little center spot right here, I'm gonna place one rounded rainbow on this side. I'm gonna be making his eyes pretty large because remember, we're gonna be tracing over everything with a Sharpie marker. So one thing I always like to remember is to draw big. That way, when my Sharpie marker goes over it, I'm not gonna get frustrated because my lines are too small. Now I'm gonna go on this side and I'm gonna see the distance from the center here that I made this eye and I'm gonna to try to match it on this side. I'm gonna draw the same thing. A line that goes up and around and back. So at this point, you can look and see if your eyes are about the same size. Are they at the same height? You can use your pencil to check or you could measure with your finger and see if it's one finger or two fingers. So whatever you need to do to kind of make sure that your eyes are about the same size, then you're gonna draw a nice big round half circle 
And I really want you to make sure that this is a round circle. Don't just cut the eye off like this. You want to actually make the whole circle shape all the way around, a big half circle. That is going to be his pupil. His pupil is going to be the black dot. And then we're going to draw a smaller half whole circle right here in the corner. This is going to be the highlight, the shiny light of his eyes. So to remind us that this is going to be colored black later, I'm just going to very lightly color it with my pencil. Now, we have another part of our eye called the iris. And the iris is the colored part of the eye. So right next to this pupil, I'm going to draw a half circle that comes all the way around. And that one is the one that we'll color a color later. I'm going to match it on this side. So this part will be the pupil. And this part here will be the iris, the colored part of the eye, and that's the white highlight. Now I can erase this little dot and the line. I don't need that anymore. I can give him some little eyebrows up here. Give him a couple little wrinkles at the top of his muzzle. And then we can decide whether we want his head to be smooth or furry. I'm gonna give him a few little hairs coming off the top of his head here. And I'm probably going to make him a little bit more fuzzy when we come to our Sharpie marker later. So now my dog side is done. And I'm going to move over here and I'm going to draw my cat. So for my cat, my cat is going to be a little bit smaller than my dog. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I'm going to find the center of my paper and make a dot. That dot, once again, is going to help me with my placement. And for my cat, I'm going to be making an oval on its side, just like we did before. And then I'm going to make a rounded curve, but not as tall as the dog. So a rounded curve, like a rainbow up at the top. And then for the ears, our ears for our cat are going to be a little bit different than what we did for the dog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to make a very wide upside down letter V, kind of like you're drawing a triangle, but you don't want to make it skinny like this. You want to really make it wide. So instead of making it like this, you're going to make it like this. So up here on the side, I'm going to make a very wide triangle. It's very wide at the end here. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You want to make sure that your ears are about the same height, the same length, and the same distance apart. So this line here should match this side. Now I'm going to add some shoulders for my cat. And then we're going to erase the dot. We don't need that anymore. We're going to erase this line in here. We don't need this anymore. And now we're going to design our cat's face. So first off, we don't want to give our cat a giant nose. The nose is going to be a little smaller. So we're going to come right here in the middle and we're going to make the letter V. But once again, just like how we did the V, which is upside down and upside down V here, it's wide. We're going to do the same thing here. You want to make it wide. And then I'm just going to round the top like this. So that's going to be my kitty cat's nose. I'm going to draw a short line down, just like we did before. And for my cat's mouth, I'm just going to make it kind of furry. And I'm going to bring it around on this side and a little furry and around on this side to match. And then I'm going to give my cat a little bit of a furry bottom lip here. Now the next part of our cat will be the eye. So I'm gonna go very close to the nose and I'm gonna draw a rounded curve. Now I'm not making it very high like a rainbow. It's just kind of a gentle curve here. And it's close to the corner of the nose. I'm gonna match it on this side. Now, if you decided to have your cat's eyes closed, you could leave it just like this. Give your cat some eyebrows, maybe some eyelashes would be a really cute cat. 
or you can choose to open the cat's eyes. So I'm going to erase those eyelashes. And I'm going to make a rounded curve, just like I did for the dog, but I'm going to make it a little bit wider and not so tall. I'm going to round, kind of like a big round rainbow, both sides. I'm going to try to make them match. And my cat is going to be looking over at the dog. So once again, I'm going to make a round curve. Really make sure this is round. And I'm going to make the other eye match. It's a whole half of a circle here. I'm going to put a smaller whole circle up here for the highlight. I'm going to color very lightly with my pencil for the pupil. And now I'm gonna add the iris, which is the colored part of the eye, which we'll color later. So I'm just making another rounded curve here and a rounded curve on this side. And then what I'm going to do is right up here, I'm gonna flip just the corner of the eye up a little bit and up a little bit on this side as well. Cats have kind of a neat almond eye and by putting that little flip on the corner, it kind of changes the shape of the eye. Now from here, I'm gonna be making my cat more furry. So my cat is named is Molly and she has long fur on her cheeks and on the side of her face and even up here at the top of her head. So. I'm going to be making my cat a little bit more furry, not so smooth, but there are other types of cats that have more smooth skin. That's just very, very short hair. Molly has long hair, so my cat's going to have a little bit more furry cheeks. We'll do the whiskers later when we get to our Sharpie markers. So we're, we're done with our pencil lines for the dog and the cat. Now we can add a little detail. So I have a little room down here and here. Now, if you'd like to, you could add a collar. So we could go right here underneath the cat's chin. We could make a round curve. And then make another round curve just above it. This could be for the cat's collar. And then you could make a little curved line that loops around like this and loops around again. And then you could put a cute little tag right here. So maybe for the cat, I'll make a heart. And then for the dog, I'll do a dog bone. I'm gonna erase the back of that little loop, make a little hole here. So the little loop is going right through the hole of the heart. Now for the dog, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make his collar a little wider, a little larger, and thicker around his neck. And then the second part of the collar goes all the way around his body or his neck. And then I'm going to make that little loop that comes down and around and this time I'm going to draw, I think a dog bone. So I'm gonna draw two lines close together. And then I'm gonna make one, two bumps. Looks like I'm making the number three. And then I'm gonna do it on this side, one, two. And again, I'm gonna erase just a little bit of that loop. Close it off and make a little hole right there. Okay, dog and cat are done. Now up here at the top, we can write the words hot dog in pencil. And up here we can write cool cat. So hot dog is six letters. I'm gonna start over here with an H. O, T, I'm gonna leave a little space. D, O, 
G, hot dog. On this side, I'm gonna write cool cat. So cool cat has seven letters. So I'm gonna start a little bit farther near this fold. Make the C, O. I'm gonna make my letters a little skinnier so that they fit. I don't have as much space to put seven letters in as I do to put six letters in. A little space, C, A, T, hot dog, cool cat. Now we're gonna go in with our Sharpie marker and trace over all of our lines. So at this point, I'm gonna start at the top So at this point, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna ink in by holding my hand here. I'm gonna pull my marker toward me. Now you'll notice I kind of keep my marker on an angle to get a fatter line. If you hold your marker straight up and down, you'll get a skinnier line. So up here, you can see if I hold it straight up and down, I get a really skinny line. But if I hold it a little bit more on an angle and pull the marker down, I can get a little bit chubbier line because I'm using the side of the marker. Now, at any point when you want to, you can rotate your paper like this to trace over your lines. And that makes it go a little smoother. As long as you're pulling the marker to you, instead of pushing the marker away, you'll find you can get better lines. Now, as I am going around, at any point, if you decide you need to change your dog and you want your dog to be more fuzzy or furry, so for instance, on the cheeks here, you don't want to keep him smooth, so you could go just in and give him more of a fuzzy face like this. Now I always save the eyes for last because I really wanna take my time. I'm gonna hold my marker straight up and down instead of on its side. And I'm gonna first outline the edge of the eye. Then I'm going to outline the highlight circle because the highlight always seems to shrink up and get too small later when I color in my pupil. So I wanna make sure that that highlight circle doesn't go away. Now, before I outline the iris, I'm gonna go in and you can either choose to color your mark with your marker, the pupil, or you can do it with a black crayon later. But while I have the marker in my hand, I'm just gonna go in and carefully color in my pupil. And next I'm going to Outline the iris circle. And then the eyebrow. When I'm finished with my dog, I'm gonna start working on my cat. So same thing we did before. Now it'll be a little faster because you know what to do. You can make your cat furry or smooth and just make sure you're pulling your marker, not pushing it. So go ahead and trace your cat while I trace mine and then we'll move on to the next part. When you're done inking in your cat, there's a little space right here inside the ear. So you're gonna to wanna to draw a short line next to the edge of the ear on both sides. And then on the bottom, just add a few little hairs poking up like this. And then our final part for our cat are the whiskers. Now don't draw your whiskers yet. So when you're drawing a whisker, you don't wanna set your marker down and draw a hard, quick line like this, because what happens is if you draw your whiskers slowly, 
it's going to kind of look like they're toothpicks coming out of the cat's face. But if you take your marker and you quickly flick your hand out, the whiskers are gonna look a little bit more natural. So for my cat, I'm gonna turn my paper. Now I'm a lefty, so I'm turning it this way. If you're a right-hander, you'll be turning it this way so you're a little bit more comfortable to flick your hand. So I'm a lefty, so I'm gonna be turning it this way and I'm gonna give up, put my marker here and flick my hand this direction. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna flip my hand the opposite way here. One, two, three. Now don't worry if one whisker is longer than the other. Don't try to correct it or fix it. Just leave it. No one's going to notice those things. And when you're all finished and you've inked everything, now you can go in and you can erase your pencil lines. Now when you get ready to erase your pencil lines, what you want to do is hold your hand open like this so that your paper doesn't wrinkle. And then I erase in this small section right here, I call this the duck's mouth. So if this was a duck's face and it was quacking, you would only erase in this little section right here. And that helps your paper not to get wrinkled as you're erasing. Okay, I have all of my pencil lines erased and now we're gonna get ready to color our warm side and our cool side with our crayons. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you a color wheel just so you can get a little idea of the colors that are on the warm side of the spectrum and the colors that are on the cool side of the spectrum. So if you look here, you'll see that red, orange, and yellow, these colors and the colors in between those, which are yellow, orange, and red, orange, are the warmer side of our spectrum. Also, this color right here is red violet. So it's a combination of violet and red mixed together. So this half of our colors on this side are our warm colors. Now the colors on the other half of our spectrum are the colors that are on the cool side. So green, blue, and violet are our cool colors. And the colors in between those are also cool. So blue, violet, blue, green, and yellow, green. So those are more cool colors. Now, another color I wanna show you would be brown, which is not showing on the color wheel because brown is a warm color. And gray, gray is more of a cool color. So here is my gray crayon. I'm putting it on the cool side. And here, over here is my brown. And I'm gonna keep that on the warm side. So we're gonna use these colors on this side for our dog. And we're gonna use these colors over here on this side for our cat. Now, to make things even more confusing, you can actually have cool gray or warm gray, depending upon what shade you mix with the gray. And you can actually have a cool brown and a warm brown. But for today, to keep it simple, we're just gonna say that brown is warm. Now, the way you're gonna remember that is that hot chocolate, right? Hot chocolate is brown. And that will help you remember that brown is a warm color. Okay, so let's begin by first deciding what color you want your dog to be. So out of all your crayons that are gonna be in your warm shades. So if I look at my color wheel, we're gonna get yellow out of our crayon box. We're gonna need yellow orange. Now, if you don't have yellow orange, don't worry. Do you have orange? Orange would be your next color. Do you have red orange in your crayon box? If you don't have red orange, don't worry. Do you have red? because you could mix red and orange together to make red orange, right? The other color that you need after red is a violet. I'm sorry, is red violet. And red violet is a combination of red and violet together. And then the final color for my warm side, I'm gonna put brown there. Now on this side, my cool side where my cat is going to be, we're going to be using more of the cool colors. So I'm gonna come up here. My first color in my cool side is yellow green. Then I'm going to go to green. I have that color. I have a blue green. I have blue. I have blue violet out of my box, my crayon box. I have violet. And then I'm also adding gray. No, as I mentioned before, you do not need to have all these colors. Maybe the only two colors that you have on the cool side are blue and green in your color box. And maybe a blue, green, and purple. Use those three. You don't need all of them. And on your warm side, maybe all the colors you have in your crayon box 
are red and yellow. Well, that's okay. You can mix red and yellow together to make orange. So let's start first by coloring our lettering up here for hot dog. So you could choose any of the warm colors to represent hot. So I think I'm gonna be coloring with my red crayon for the word hot. And I'm just going to add some red next to the letter. So I'm just gonna put like a little shadow of the red right next to my lettering. And then for my dog, I'm gonna choose a different one of my warm colors. So maybe for dog, I'll use orange. So once I have some coloring on my lettering, now I can go in and start to color my dog. So I'm gonna start with yellow. That's my lightest color in my warm section. So I'm gonna put a coating of yellow over my dog. And then I'm gonna move on to orange. So now I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna put a little orange over the yellow. So as we build up these colors underneath, it's going to make our brown a much more warm brown by adding all these warm colors of the sun. So to help you remember colors that are warm, think about the sun or think about fire. The next color I'm gonna move on to is red. So for the red, I'm just going to put a little bit of red at the bottom of his ears. And I'm going to put some red in his tongue. So for his tongue, I'm going to make a dark red outline by pushing a little harder. And I'm going to color it just a little softer on the inside. Now I have to choose a color for his iris, the colored part of his eye. So I think I'm gonna go in with this yellow orange, which is a mixture of yellow and orange together first. And then I'm gonna add some brown over it later. Okay, now let's move on to my brown color. So I've got my brown crayon and I'm gonna show you how different the brown looks because I warmed it up with these colors. So you see his nose right here? I'm gonna color his nose brown, flat, right on top of the white paper. Next, I'm gonna color brown on his cheeks. But because I warmed the colors up with yellow and orange first, you're gonna notice that the brown looks different. It doesn't have the same shade of brown that the nose does. It looks warmer, kind of more of a golden brown. So look at the difference. As I color around his muzzle, you can see that that brown takes on a very different shade, doesn't it? It doesn't look the same as the brown on his nose. Even though I'm coloring just as hard, as I did with the nose, it looks very different. So I'm gonna continue this color and color the rest of his head and his chest and even the tips of his ears. Now remember, I added a little red to the tips of his ears. So as I color over the tips of his ears, you're gonna notice his ears are gonna look darker at the bottom and lighter as we go up to the top. So you go ahead and color your dog. I'm gonna finish coloring my dog and then we'll meet back here when we're done. Okay, my dog is done. Now I'm going to decide what color collar and what color I want my little ring and what color I want my bone. So out of all my warm colors that are over here, I think I'm going to make my ring yellow and I'm going to make my collar, I haven't tried this color yet, my red violet. So maybe I'm gonna add some red violet, which is a warm color. 
And to make it look even more warm, I'm gonna add red right over the top. Oh, I really like that combination. So I put red violet down and now I'm just brushing a little bit more red over the top to warm it up even more. Now you can leave your bone white if you'd like to and maybe write your dog's name in the bone or make up a name for your dog. You could do that, that would be really cute also. All right, let's move on to our cat. So our cat's gonna be all cool colors. We're gonna scooch out my warm colors, moving into my cool colors. So for my cool colors, looking over here, we have yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, blue, violet, and violet. I have all those colors lined up here with my crayons. So now I'm gonna decide first off what color I want to do for my cat's background colors. I'm gonna be starting with just plain old blue. So I'm gonna put a light coat of blue over my cat. Okay, once I have finished my blue, now I'm going to add another layer of color. So I'm gonna move in to this color, which is blue-green. So now I'm gonna layer a little bit of blue-green over my blue. Now, if you don't have blue-green, you could just use regular green and you could layer a little bit of green over your blue. Now we can leave our cat like this, or we can add some gray, just like we added our combination of putting a little brown for a warm color, we can do a cool gray. So I've got plain regular gray here, but our gray is gonna look cool because we have all these blue undertones. So I'm gonna do gray now over my cat. When you're all finished coloring gray on your cat, now you're going to decide what color out of your cool colors are you going to make your cat's eyes. So I'm going to choose this pretty blue-green color for my first shade for my iris. And then I'm gonna layer another color over it. Maybe I'll add a little green to it. I forgot to add another shade of color over my dog's eye. I'm gonna put a little bit of brown over the orange. There we go. Okay, so back to my cat. Now I have to decide what color is my cat's nose going to be? I think I'm gonna go with violet. And now I'm gonna color my collar a color. And I, of course, like to layer two colors in. So I'm gonna put a little blue over my violet. Violet's the same thing as purple. I'm gonna color my ring gray. And my heart is going to be a soft shade of violet. Look at how the violet changed once I put the blue over it. Looks very different than it does down here on my heart. Our final part is for me to decorate my lettering up here using my cool colors. And when you're all finished, then you can even add a little bit more color to the background by scribbling some colors around the edges. So on my picture here, I added red, orange, and yellow around the sides. And on this cat, I did blue, purple, and green around the edges. So I hope you had fun today learning about our hot dog and our cool cat. I would love to see what you come up with in the end. So please send me a picture to rtorres at lcusd.net and I'll see you for our next lesson. Have a great day.